Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. Pakistani mastermind ISI links India seizes drug worth 25,000 crore rupees. Imran Khan says Pakistan army plans to keep him in jail for 10 years. And protests erupt in Nepal against refugee scam and corruption. And now for all the details. In one of the largest seizures of narcotics till date, NCB, the Narcotics Control Bureau, and the Indian Navy seized a drugs consignment worth 25,000 crore rupees in the Indian Ocean. A Pakistani national was also arrested from the mother ship. According to the Anti-Narcotics Agency, the shipment originating from the Death Crescent was destined for India, Sri Lanka, and the Maldives. Under Operation Samadragupt, the agency along with the Indian Navy has seized roughly around 4,000 kilograms of various drugs since last year. NCB has claimed the kingpin behind the drug cartel is Haji Saleem from Pakistan, whose network has close links with Pakistan's intelligence agency, ISI. And India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar, who was in Sweden for a three-day official visit, held a wide-ranging bilateral talks with top leadership in the Nordic country, which currently holds the presidency of the Council of the European Union. On Sunday, interacting with the Indian community in Sweden, he highlighted the transformations underway back home. He also noted that Indians have established a global reputation and he can see globalization of Indian culture happening and it's happening for a variety of factors, he said. What you could say is, yes, there is a demand, but one aspect of it equal is that Indians have established a global reputation, that Indian uh, talent when it goes outside is able to fit in with uh, with the environment with the work culture of other places uh, and you know while continuing his London plan rhetoric, Pakistan's ex-PM Imran Khan has targeted the country's army, alleging that it is conspiring to put him in jail for 10 years under sedition charges. The PTI party chief on Monday blamed using the pretext of violence last week over his arrest in a craft case. They have assumed the role of judge, jury and the executioner. The Islamabad High Court has granted Imran Khan bail until May 17th, barring his arrest in all the cases registered beyond May 9th. Incumbent PM Shehbaz Sharif on Saturday gave authorities 72 hours to identify and arrest all those involved in violence during the protest. He said the cases would be tried by anti-terrorism courts. Khan has asked the Supreme Court to set up an independent investigation to uncover who was behind the violence, hinting his party was being framed. Well, amid the ongoing economic crisis, the rising cost of education is forcing students to drop out of schools in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Locals have lamented they have no hope for the future. A report. A new academic year has started in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. But hike in fees and cost of textbooks and stationary material is forcing people not to send their children to school as even arranging meals two times a day has become difficult. The poor educational infrastructure and lack of job opportunities have already fueled a sense of deprivation in the region. Now, apart from food and other essentials, the soaring cost of education is making it even more worse, with no hope for the future. Uh, Locals have claimed that Pakistan government is hardly bothered about the concerns and aspirations of the people in territories under its illegal occupation and has failed to provide any relief to them amid rising inflation. Moving on, the World Bank has highlighted in a report that Afghanistan is among one of the seven countries which are facing catastrophic levels of food crisis. Years of conflict, poverty and the broken and donation-based economy have forced ordinary people in Afghanistan to suffer acute hunger and food shortage, the report states. 
Since the return of the Taliban to power in 2021, the economy has failed to recover, keeping millions of people on the verge of starvation. Last week, the UNICEF warned there has been critical funding gap to provide vital aid to treat severe acute malnutrition amongst children in the country. The UN estimates that 28 million people in Afghanistan urgently require humanitarian aid. A Nepal police on Sunday arrested absconding lawmaker Tob Bahadur Rayamaji from the location in the outskirts of Kathmandu in connection with a fake Bhutanese refugee scam. Rayamaji, a leader from CPN UML, had been on the run since last week after issuance of an arrest warrant. With this, 13 arrests have been made in the scam so far, including that of former Home Minister Bal Krishna Khant. Kathmandu District Attorney has directed the Nepal police to conclude the investigation within this week. On Sunday, Nepal Student Union also staged a demonstration in Kathmandu demanding strict action against all those involved in the fake refugee scandal. They want of large-scale demonstrations if the case is dismissed due to involvement of high-profile individuals. I like a message in a chance of an evacuate. I mean, be there Navy, Navy Sanko, I mean, Sobe be there to Arumilera, you brushed as Arbudu, I mean, Sano protest Gorico, I'm Loyal Sano no by Rapon Edi, Brostari, Rupokra, Udenovani, Amile, Amilio, Vandaponi, Tulu, Tulu, protest Gorero, Sopo, Gorgorma, Gorero, Amile, Sobla, Brostari, Brostari, Orula, Amli Pokla, Gornu Persavana, Vonakolagi, Amile, Etro, your Tulu, Aja Andulan Gorico. And soaring temperature has added to the despair of women in remote areas of Western India who struggle every day for their access to clean piped water. Some of them have to walk for miles and even risk their lives to descend into wells to fill merely a few litres of water. Take a look. Heat wave is adding to the despair of women in the hinterland of Nasik in India's Maharashtra state who struggle every day for the access to clean piped water. Locals, quintessentially women, in Amdogra village walk for miles and risk their lives as some of them descend several feet down into a well to fill merely a few litres of water. The villagers often collect money and call for a water tanker where the whole village uses that one tanker for daily chores. Many parts of India often experience water shortages, especially in May and June, the country's hottest months. The India Meteorological Department has issued an advisory for people in the vulnerable category, including elderly, infants or those with chronic diseases, to take extra precautions as the maximum temperature is rising from 42 to 44 degrees Celsius in several parts of the country. People are wrapping their heads with scarves, carrying umbrellas and keeping themselves hydrated to protect themselves from the scorching heat. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.